In this video, we'll go through and show you how to clean a Millennium infrared sensor. And the tools, all you'll need is a 1 uh, inch Allen wrench, a flat bladed screwdriver, some isopropyl alcohol, and some type of cotton swab. And to clean the unit, first you remove the outer barrel, which then you locate the flathead screw on the hydrophobic filter. Remove the screw, take the filter off, and then with your Allen head wrench on the uh, collar of the waveguide, you just unscrew that piece. And you may have to um, use a couple of Allen wrenches to actually break the thread on the uh, waveguide. So you just loosen it and then you just thread the waveguide back up onto the collar and once it's down low enough on the threads you should be able to remove the waveguide and you would inspect that for dirt as well and then you can just use the cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol to clean that as well And we use isopropyl alcohol because it doesn't really leave any film or anything like that and it cuts most of the grease. And then uh, once the waveguide's removed, you can see the actual windows of the sensor. This one's the uh, detector and reference element. And you can just use uh, some more isopropyl alcohol to clean that window. And then the bottom window is the source end. And again, just use isopropyl alcohol to clean that window. And then if it's really, really dirty, you can also use, you know, an air hose, compressed air to, to clean it out. And if you want to uh, clean this filter, uh, say this is all built up with dirt, what it is, just a Teflon coated stainless steel mesh filter. So you can just run this underwater and uh, clean it up and then blow it out with, with compressed air. So once you're done cleaning the sensor, you just reassemble it the same way as you disassembled it, but you'd screw the um, tube back up. Use your Allen wrenches again to actually tighten the tube. And then use the 16 inch Allen head to put the set screw into the waveguide to keep it secure. And then put the filter back on, relocate the hole, just snug up the screw. the barrel back on and once it's all cleaned what you'll want to do is you want to power the sensor back up for 30 minutes to an hour and then just run it through its zero and span calibration so with these simple tools you can clean up the Millennium sensor and then uh, recalibrate it and it'll be good for uh, quite a few more years of operation